You'll be shocked to learn that Jessica Thurlow humiliated and buried herself while defending Biden on The Five Show. Let's find out what happened. Democrat anxiety over the 2024 election is reaching a boiling point. A new report shedding light on how some top Democrats fear Biden's campaign might be stumbling past a point of no return. Vice President Kamala Harris reportedly telling them that she isn't worried about losing to Donald Trump, but rather losing to the couch, which refers to voters who might stay home on Election Day. And Operation Dump Joe is growing louder. A New York Times columnist is cooking up a brand new way to bait Joe into stepping aside. Tell him he could be a hero. Okay, now we know the Democrats are scared. You know what? They should be scared. The people see it all and haven't wanted them in power for a long time. The immigration crisis alone. Think about it. They have, they're set in their ways. Joe Biden proposed to Jill five times, Janine. That's about as stubborn a man as you could possibly get. You're not going to convince Joe Biden of anything. You might be able to trick him into believing that he's running for re-election when oh. he's really not running. But a lot of these people like Charlemagne and the people under 50, if you're a Democrat, you've only known two Democrat presidents, really, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, the first and second black president. And those two are incredibly charismatic and they can use the bully pulpit to inspire people. Joe Biden can't do that. Joe Biden does not feel the street. He does not understand what makes a heart beat. He is told he's a political relic artifact from a bygone era. And people now realize that and they'd rather have the guy that shows a little muscle than a guy that has none. Just look at it. They're trying to give Jessica something to think about. She's defending an elderly marismatic who is incapable of finding a ladder off the stage, who forgets the names of the leaders of countries, who just plain fails the country. Aren't those arguments against him? Okay, well, we're all not doctors, so we're definitely not diagnosing... Oh, I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> um, not diagnosing that, and Joe Biden regularly does see a team of doctors, and I think someone would have informed him if there was something really wrong with him, but... There has definitely been a perceptible shift, and I think it came from the Her report. David Axelrod is part of the Obama orbit, which has been very apt to criticize him. Charlemagne the God was not enthusiastic about Biden going back to 2020. That This is consistent with it. Um, but the Her report seems to have really struck a nerve with people. Jessica's sure she's right. She believes that Biden is healthy and can run the state apparatus. Is she out of her mind? I think it's high time she got off the air and interpreted her opinion to some brainless people who will fall for this nonsense. Not that they necessarily are saying I'm not going to go out and vote for him, but this is a problem that we can't ignore anymore. And I listened or I read most of Ezra Klein's audio essay. I think he makes a lot of really good points, but what John Favreau, who's part of the Pod Save America group and was part of the Obama administration, has said is actually not that he thinks that Biden is too old to do this, but that you can't ignore the veracity of these concerns. You can't tell voters you're silly for wondering if he's too old, if he's going to make it through a second term, what happens if he doesn't, the Kamala Harris question. But the point that he brings up that I think is so crucial is that if we, quote, organize victory at the convention and give it to someone else, is that actually a less risky proposition in terms of winning? So we have these stars, right? We have Josh Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania, Gretchen Whitmer from Michigan, Gavin Newsom, who we talk about all the time from California, all very bold and exciting, doing incredible things, charismatic, telegenic, the right age, et cetera. John told the truth. I would advise her to just think and keep her mouth shut so people don't listen to this crap anymore. She should look at what's going on around her. Biden is an empty puppet who is no longer able to dance to the tune as her energy is completely run out. They're not proven quantities. They haven't beaten Donald Trump before. Joe Biden's the only one that has done that. And main character energy, yes, it is a great saying. But main character energy to most Democrats I talk to is being able to deliver 81 million votes in 2020 or to get this legislation passed or to oversee the most successful midterms uh, for a party not in power in the House. That is main character energy. We want to win more than anything else because Donald Trump, the sneaker con scion, is the guy on the other side of it. So 
that's what I think people are paying attention to. You know, Dana, when, when you talk about main character energy, I don't mm -hmm. think anyone would deny that Donald Trump has that. Absolutely. But when you talk about Joe Biden, uh, the Joe Biden of 2024 is not the Joe Biden of 2020. We have seen the cognitive yeah. decline. And again, it's not age, it's cognitive. Uh you know, I think so too. Joe Biden's case is not just that. It's just plainly peaked and is now plummeting downwards. He's incapable of doing anything, absolutely nothing. Help just find a cane for this old man and go to a nursing home in peace. It's time for Trump to change things and make the country great. And Jessica should just keep her mouth shut and not talk such nonsense anymore because she's blown herself out of the water. Friends, what do you think? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to watch other shocking news on the channel.